ECO is very important, like echocardiogram. And as you can see, uh, as the case of our patient, uh, you can identify mitral regurgitation. Uh, the the contractility contractility uh, by uh, mainly left ventricle. Uh, the size of cavities. Uh, you can estimate uh, the systolic pressure in uh, pulmonary artery. So it's very useful in the management is I think that is a imprescindible tool at the first moment to stratify and to, uh, to mainly to quantify the derangement of uh, loss of uh, the, the impairment of the left ventricle uh, in cardiogenic shock. Uh, another important uh, variable in that is not used uh, very often is the cardiac power output. Uh, in this uh, sub-study of the cohort of um, shock trial registry, uh, the uh, cardiac power output should a good correlation with mortality when is less than uh, 0 0.6. So you can see here a mortality around 50%. So uh, it's another uh, very important tool. You just need uh, to have uh, uh, equipment that offer the, the cardiac output to measure the measurement of cardiac output, and you can calculate the cardiac power. And in this study, uh, this variable was the strongest hemodynamic uh, that correlated with mortality in cardiogenic shock. Uh, so it's uh, inter a very interesting uh, and re um, relatively easy to calculate at bedside uh, in cardiogenic shock if you don't have uh, another uh, type of uh, invasive uh, hemodynamic monitoring. 